Hello, my name is Josh Sellers. I'm a project geophysicist here at Sequent. And today I'm going to take you through a quick workflow of how to import and merge columns in your LAS files. To start, we'll use a pre-created project with our well locations and trajectories already imported. Here we have the trajectories of three different wells, which each have an associated last file. To import last files, simply right-click the wells object underneath the well data folder Come down to the import from file menu and choose last data. Here we can import multiple last files at the same time. And on the importer, we can simply press import all columns, which should automatically tag each column with the correct column type. So pressing finish, that's going to import all of our last information. But we can see here that we have multiple different column names for our gamma ray density logs. We have one GRD associated with each well path. This is not uncommon to see with last files, especially when dealing with multiple different legacy contractors. To combine these into one singular column, we can quickly run a simple if-then calculation by right-clicking the last data channel and pressing the calculations tab. For quick reference, I'm just going to load a pre-created calculation file which combines our gamma rays into one overall combined column. So in the scene view, we can then drag and drop the GRD combo, where we have all of our gamma ray logs combined into one file, which we can display in the scene at the same time. So to design this calculation file, we can quickly and easily build it by pressing on the new item button on the top left corner. We'll create a new calculation and call it GRD underscore combo egg. Here we can input an if then block where we can design a statement that says if gamma ray density is blank, then output gamma ray density one. Otherwise, output GRD. So in this scenario, when we import our gamma ray density logs, there's a rule that's automatically applied where missing values are omitted. So when we're designing our calculations, any areas where GRD is blank, we'll replace it with the next possible scenario. So we'll replace it with these GRD1 values. If GRD isn't blank, then we'll retain the GRD information. We can then create another calculation file where we can apply a similar methodology, except this time we're going to re-reference the initial calculation. We'll say if GRD combo A is blank, then we'll output the next scenario. If not, we'll retain the information in GRD combo A. So now in the scene view, we can drag and drop GRD combo B, which will contain all of the information associated with our three gamma ray channels. 